Hi, this is Beata from Split Cost Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create a magic card. A magic card shows a black and white image on the front of the card, and then when you pull on the top, a colored image emerges. The stamps in the sample are from Flourishes, and it's called a Guiding Light, the stamp set. And the paper is Bull Bunny. The frame and the circle were cut with Spellbinder dies. Um, for my sample, I'm going to show you the um, the technique a little bit different than in the photo tutorial, just because I wanted to use nestabilities to cut my window, and for that I needed to cut the um, paper apart. So, for if you want to use nestability, start with a four by five and a a ten and a half piece of cardstock and you score it at four and a quarter and fold it in half. Next you will need a paper cutter or you can use a craft knife and a cutting mat and you will cut a little a slit over the um, score line that you created and I'm just gonna cut an eighth of an inch on each side from that score line so I have a quarter of an inch cut so I line it up with five and an eighth and I cut from three eighth ends in so I start at three eighth and I cut to three and five eighths and I move it over to uh, five and three eighths, and do the same again. Start at three eighth and cut to three and five eighth. And then you could use uh, again your craft knife to cut that slit open, or you can just use scissors like I'm doing here. This is where the magic will happen. Next, you will need a 3 and a 5 8 by 5 inch piece of cardstock and stamp your image on it. Now, um, we're going to need a bigger piece of acetate and we'll stamp the same image right on top of it. And for that, we will need the Stampamajig. The Stampamajig is a great tool when you have to line up stamps right on top of each other. Uh, it comes with a clear plastic sheet and you line that up in the corner of your Stampamajig. Ink up your stamp and you can use that with wooden stamps or acrylic stamps, it doesn't matter. And stamp uh, Guide the left hand corner um, through your Stampamajig and stamp on your plastic sheet. Not perfect, but it will work. Now I line up and place my um, acetate over my um, stamped image and then I line up the stamp a image with the image that is already stamped and then I you know what let me just fix that because it will be easier if that is totally lined up okay so now we do that again I line it I line the stamp a up with my plastic stamp sta in the corner of the plastic stamp on a check sheet. Ink up my uh, stamp. This time what stays on. It's a solvent ink that will dry on plastic. And again, line it up with the corner of the stamp on a jig and stamp. Stamped really light, but it will work. Just to show just to show. Okay, now it is bigger than I need it, but 
the paper is as well. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. So when I pull up my image in the, on the card, it won't come out. So for that to happen, we're going to cut this down a little bit, an eighth of an inch on each side, but leave half an inch on the top. So for that, since it's, uh, well, it's a little bit smaller than five inches, sorry, so it's, um, you just leave half an inch up here and you line it up with one eighth of an inch. So I cut all the way to three eighths. And now I turn it around, again line it up on the other side with one eighth and start at half an inch and cut all the way up. And then I cut those tabs off. There. This will make it so your cart, your image won't, won't be able to come out of your um, base that you created. So now we do the same with your plastic. You line up your stamped image and then you cut it down. You could, to make it easier, um, add a little adhesive. Let me just bring it out here so you can see better. I'm going to add a little adhesive on the top here because I'm going to cover that with a piece of patterned paper so you won't see that and I will help keep my plastic straight while I am cutting my plastic down. You could have the acetate already the right size but I found this is way easier because then um, in case when you stamp your plastic your sheet uh, moves a little bit you can just cut it down to Um, the size that you need when it moves. It's just one more way to ensure you get it right. Okay, now we have that. We will need to add something in the front. And we have to take this off for one more one more time because we have to first put it through our paper. And now we can tape this on top again. Oops, went the wrong way there. Line it up and tape it. And so it will hold together. I cut a piece of uh, pattern paper that I'll be using. I'll be using uh, for the sample, and um, ran it through my Siron, and I'm just going to adhere it over both layers to make sure and fold it over. Let's do it a little bit more to ensure that uh, the pieces don't come apart. So now we have this. Um, and now I just saw that it would be easy, would be better if we had cut an oval, uh, a half circle in here. So I'll have to take it apart again. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just punch a little circle in here so my half circle can go in. Of course, you want to show something. There. Okay. Let's try that again. We get, oops, I'm sorry. Um, put your paper through. Line up your plastic sheet so the stamped image lines up with your colored image and tape together. Now it won't show much if you have dark pattern paper here so what I did 
I used some paper from the Bow Bunny uh, Gabrielle collection, which I'll be using for the top as well. And I'm just going to tape this better punch a circle here too. Doesn't have to be perfect because it will be covered. Oh, but this is a little bit. Yeah, it will be covered, so it doesn't matter. So now you can see my ship. Uh, we're ready to close this part up. For that, I cut my tabs here a little bit more down because we're going to adhere, add adhesive to the sides and you don't want um, you don't want your paper to get stuck on the adhesive and then it doesn't slide well. So we center it and then add some adhesive. I'm using score tape to the sides, right on the edge, so your paper has a lot of room to move. take that shut. There. Now we have this. Doesn't look very pretty, right? So we'll do the same in the front. We're going to cut the tabs from the plastic down a little bit. Our guides. And then we add, I already uh, created a front for the front. Just use another four by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock and cut an oval in it. And then I decorated it with a frame I cut out of with beaded and classic oval nestabilities. So now we're gonna add more adhesive. Adhere that, adhere the front to our slide up sliding part. And then your card is pretty much done. Then you just have to put it onto a card base. So now we adhere this on top of here. And it should slide. And the first time is a little bit hard and then what I usually do is I either put an eyelet here or add thread something through to make sure the, um, the adhesive won't come off the adhesed circle then you just adhere it to a adhere your magic card front to a card base five and a half by four and a quarter piece of cardstock folded in half whoops and my adhesive came off. Shouldn't happen. There we go. And then your magic card is done. I hope you try it out. It's definitely uh, fun to receive one of those cards. See you next time.